there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to be Bible journaling in Jeremiah chapter 30. And the verse is, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, write in a book all the words I have spoken to you. The context here is God was talking to the Israelites in captivity and saying, write it down, people, so you don't forget. And is that not what Bible journaling does for us? At least it does for me. It helps me to remember when I write it and draw it and put some color to it. And then I remember things a whole lot better. And my mind is like a sieve and I need to do all I can to keep from losing things that God has said to me. This page was inspired somewhat by our theme on the Facebook group. If you'd like to join that, there's a link in the description down below. But the suggested theme by one of our members was talents. So we are going to be Bible journaling. This I'm going to be Bible journaling this month about the talents that God has given me, the gifts he's given me. And this one is about my current book effort, but some of the future pages that I'm thinking of doing are going to be about incidents in the past when I was in a ministry and God used me for a moment to reach someone else. And I've told the stories to other people so that I recall them, but I want to actually document them in my Bible. This is a great opportunity to go back in my mind and really pray about those and, and ask the Lord to recall the details so I can write the stories down in the journaling section on those pages as well. So that is going to help me in those moments when I think, gosh, I am too, too whatever, too boring, too old, too whatever for God to use me. When I can document those places where he has used me and remember that he did and it was okay, that I'm not a failure, it really helps to be able to see that he can use me again. So in this particular one, it's all about the things I want him to do with my book, or shall I say my books, because both books are leaning against the Bible on this bookshelf that I'm drawing, because my books will be nothing without the word of God. So I am leaning heavily on him in this process. And this week in particular is a huge week for me in terms of the book, because I am going to be waiting either Monday or Tuesday, I think, for my final author review. So I'm waiting for a package to arrive that has printouts of everything. And it'll be the first time I get to see it in design with all the beautiful things added to it. Cause I, in previous reviews, got to just see text and sort of things thrown on a page. And now it'll be all beautiful. I cannot wait to see it. Very, very excited. And one of the exciting pieces of news to share with you is that I might be getting both books at the same time, or at least the second one, the workbook will be chasing shortly after the main book, if not, because they're going to try to advance the schedule and get both of them to release at the same time in October. Previously, the workbook was going to be a month behind, but one of the vendors who's going to be selling the book has requested that they both be released together, which is a really good sign because it's not a Christian publisher that asked that. It's just, I think it was Barnes and Noble that wanted it. They wanted both books out at the same time. And imagine God using Barnes and Noble to get something to change, right? How cool is that? So I'm real excited about that. The main book and the workbook potentially being out together. And so I'm, I've promised them that I'm going to do my quickest job of review I, that I can possibly do so that they can advance the schedule on the second book. The pencils that I'm using on this particular page are my new Polychromos pencils. I actually bought them because I'm doing a couple things. One is I'm doing some colored pencil hex charts. People have been asking for them forever and ever and ever, so they'll be coming out soon, I hope this week, if I can get all that set up. And then in another week or two after that, a colored pencil class. And it's going to be for artists, crafters, and a little bit of Bible journaling. I'm going to throw in a little bit. I try to keep the Bible journaling to Bible journaling classes so that I don't, you know, kind of bring that into a lot of the other things necessarily for people who are not interested in that. But I thought it would be fun to try some of the techniques in a Bible as well. So I am going to attempt that. And the 
polychromos pencils work pretty nicely. They're a little pricier than the Prismacolors. I still like the Prismacolors best so far out of my testing, simply because I like the softer core to them. These polychromos are oil-based rather than wax-based pencils, so they just have different properties, and I'll be talking more about that in the class. So don't feel like just because I'm using them that you need to run out and get them, because I do love my Prismas. And I'm also using, you may have noticed here, a blending stump. And that's one of the things that we'll be using in the class, which is this little wrapped piece of paper. Here I'm using it just with with the pencil. I'm not using any solution. So many of you may have used blending solutions like Gamsol or Baby Oil to move the color. But here I didn't even do that. I just used it by itself because the Bible paper itself is so soft that it kind of does move the color a little bit and helps it to blend. Not perfectly, not as well as it might with a blending solution, but it certainly helps and those are really cheap things to get. And I like things that are cheap and easy. So that's a good thing. And speaking of cheap and easy, well, I should say at least easy, you may not have books coming out. So this page might not be one that you want to replicate necessarily for this topic, but consider doing books like this on anything you want. I mean, do them on a different kind of Bible journaling page about something that's important to you. Maybe you read a book by an author that had some beautiful quotes in it that you want to document in your Bible as well somewhere where God spoke through them to you. Or maybe you're going to use the spines on the books to write out a scripture of some sort that God has spoken to you. So books are a really easy thing to draw. They're just rectangles and then you can decorate them any way you want. So they're, they're a really good visual that is easily, easily drawn. You don't have to have a lot of super skills in order to do that. So here I'm going to add some more color onto the edge. And you may have noticed that I like to put a lot of color on my pages. <laughs> I, I like color because the color stops my eye as I go through and flip through my Bible and grabs my attention. It also grabs the attention of other people. I try to go to events or do speaking engagements or teach classes and stuff in which people are going to have an opportunity to flip through my Bibles. And... If you're interested in having me for an event or something, just get in touch with me. You can go to the uh, request a speaker link on the Bible Journaling Made Simple website and fill out the little form there. If your church is interested in having me, I'm going to be doing a Bible Journaling retreat, I believe, in Georgia at some point. I've got a speaking engagement in Virginia, other things that are coming up. So if you're interested in that, I love to bring my Bibles with me and just let people peruse through them. And then when there's that pop of color, it stops them to know where the Bible journaling is, that kind of thing. Because I don't tend to put tabs or stickers or ribbons or clips or anything on any of my pages. So color is what catches the eye and helps people to know that there's something to see here. So they should stop and take a look, including me. Because when I flip through my Bible, I'm regularly reminded of the things that God has said to me every time I see one of the pages. And that's important to me to remember. That is why I do this and that sort of thing, especially knowing that God's command was to remember. Write things down in a book so you remember. Thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with me today. I will see you again next week with another Bible journaling page. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you real good, and I will see you again next time.